let's take a look at what we've got today. Uh, so just some of the things that I'm trying to ready for the flagship lab channel here. Uh, one is the lab itself. So I have a shed on the back of my house, which I will be gutting and replacing all the walls, internal structure, insulation, stuff like that. So it is literally watertight. Um, Going to install a little air conditioning in there just to make it comfortable for when I'm in there benching. Because we are in Florida, it does suck here. I want something to remove some of the humidity. Uh, even though I'm going to be prepping my boards like way over the top to literally be able to bench underwater, it would be fantastic. Um, still acquiring some of the actual benches because I'm going to be running a few different platforms. I don't want to be having to take the entire set up with the drive and all that stuff and just move boards around um i want to be able to just have a benching drive for each platform and then i can swap out chips and ram brackets if i'm using a certain platform regularly i can keep it all together and do that it'll make it easier for me um i've got doer got pots uh, doers waiting for a neck tube a diffuser, which is like is literally like a special cork for cryogenic storage. Uh, but it's not even a storage device. A doer is literally a short-term storage flask. So you put some stuff in it, you dump it out later when you need some, or they have some that are you can put your vials or like a little stick and they go down in it and the evaporation of liquid nitrogen just Cools it all. It's usually man juice. So I turned down a lot of doers that would be used for that. It's kind of gross. But the one I ended up getting, I guess, was bolted to a gamma ray detector. I guess that's the reason for the flange with the six, I think six or eight bolts on, whatever. But I'll find a neck tube that works for it. Uh, I do want to find somebody that can 3D print me a flap cap. Just, just for prettiness, uh, as far as I know, as long as I've got an X tube diffuser and the flask, then I can go drive up to air gas, go get 30 liters, come back, bench for a few hours, and go do it again. So, but in getting the lab complete, I need to make a pathway that they can cart these big 240 liter tanks into the lab and store it in there so that'll give me days of benching it'll be nice but yeah so here's the uh the case that i just ripped the 3950x system out of um it's currently sitting on a bench because i've been tinkering with it the most got a 10900k but i don't have a block with it uh i was only able to throw the 212 plus on it and get it test posted so that's this guy here she's all she's all ready to go just need to get some Smelling too. I might even pull the trigger on a small water block uh, just for some pre preliminary fun, I guess. But 3950X, I'm getting a little bored with. I don't have the best retail sample. This 2020 sample, uh, later 2020 sample. The first CCD is pretty decent. I get a good 4.6 all core out of it. The other one, it's not so much. It seems to vary sometimes boot to boot um but some fairly decent numbers out of it it's not uh it's not the most ideal it's a typical retail sample kind of like my 10900k 10900k came out with a default vid of one volt solid so i'm feeling a little hopeful about that don't know what they're getting down to these days but all my Previous interactions with Intel 14 nanometers say one volt is good. So if I'm wrong, you, you let me know down here. All right, but some other things about this channel. We will be learning together. All right, so I have very minimal experience with pouring liquid nitrogen and some of the limits around that. Um, but the platforms now are so very different from socket 775 days. So we're going to learn these together uh, as far as the cold goes. I mean, my 
bench on water is about as far as it's going to get. Um, I don't get the 1900 uh, fabric clock, but that's okay. Because we're not going to need that for cold anyways. The IMC itself has pushed a couple kits around past 4800 MHz, so I'm pretty pretty stoked about that. We got a socket 7075 platform on a Gigabyte EP45DS3R. So that's a fairly decent uh, benching board. It's got the uh, it's got lights, so it's got the uh, the post lights as well as uh, VRM usage lights. I don't think are going to be too much too useful, but hey. Um, and it's got none of the none of the buttons you would need, but it's a six phase, pretty strong six phase, uh, seven seventy five board for the platform. Uh, well, upgrade it out as I can. Right now, it was one of the one of the stronger boards that I could find, even though it's lacking some of the features that I would like. Just gave away an AM three platform. I don't think that's going to be any kind of worthwhile, but maybe an AM three plus here in the future look into that so showed the 10900 the 900k that's about it right so that's our stuff but yeah like i said we're going to be learning all these things together even some of the more platform that i, I would be more familiar with but uh we'll look at getting a, a north bridge pot for this or dangling something together just to keep it cool um so on the channel ad spots It'll be pretty open. You see some computer, uh, some of these computer tech channels, um, they don't like to take certain ad spots because then they expect like certain things out of, you know, like the, the little mini review they get out of an ad spot. Uh, but here on this channel, you know, if somebody gives me something that is pertinent to what we're doing, I'm going to put it on a bench and probably break it. So I don't think those companies are going to want to come to me anyways, because I'm going to see how far it goes. <laughs> uh, but if they want to go for it, you know, would, Hey, if they send us that Asus tough and it can't, it can't hold up under the cold, then you guys will be the first to know. I don't think anybody else is going to take an Asus tough, put it under an LN2 plot. I think G and Steve did, but I don't think he really shared it or really pushed it. It'd be fun to see but anyways same with reviews paid reviews if we get something that's going to be a paid review if it doesn't survive that's it that, that's more or less what this is about like can it take it can it do it will it break through it can we do it are we going to understand what the hell's going on while we're doing this so we're we're going to figure it all out we're going to understand we will master these platforms together and whatever platforms come down the road. Because this 10900K is going to become a 1198550K uh, FA, something like that. And then this 3950X will be a 5950X, um, barring availability. So if there's anybody out there that gets anything like that, you know, an opportunity to purchase during times like this that. They might want to pass on to me. I'm not going to give you scalper prices, but I will pay for the convenience. That's for sure. Um, I'm also very patient. So don't come at me with something dumb. Um, ad spots. I'll advertise whatever. You want to have me vacuum my my, my lab with your, your Bissell? Let's, let's do it up. So I'm also going to have a Patreon. This for me is going to be more about the benching. And then the YouTube channel is going to be about sharing my adventures and my endeavors with everybody out there that's interested to follow. Uh, so I showed you guys. I don't want to go pull the dewer out. It's, I have it tucked in a closet so my kid won't touch it, stuff like that. Uh, when the lab's live, you'll see it. It is an MVE cryogenics. Lab 30 with some kind of modifications done to it. So we'll figure out the cap the cap thing later. Uh, but let's see. Yeah. We'll master these platforms, figure them out together, and that's about it. I can't really think of anything else to go, about, go over with you guys to kind of give you an idea of what I want to do here. But 
I'm excited to do it. Probably gonna break some stuff. We're gonna do some stuff wrong. But we'll get uh we'll we'll share input, we'll share ideas. We can do it in the comments, we can do it in PMs, we can do it in the stream. I'm gonna have a Discord. We're gonna have that's gonna be an open Discord with some some closed channels, uh just to give people with certain methods of benching their own place to go do it without any kind of criticism because the only thing that really sucks is like uh i run a face facebook group called overclocked and you know you got people that want to run a radiator attached to an ac unit but then you got people that want to cut off the the evaporation side of the ac unit and replace it with like an evaporation block you know, those people are clashing heads, and there's differences in them. Like, the, the AC unit with the radiators, I think, gives you more longevity, where, you know, having a, a direct phase change doesn't give you enough material on the spot for, like, a really long run in most cases. See, some people build, like, you know, nice big phase changes that can handle the wattage over time. But a lot of the times I see, like, people making phase changes to get the temperatures down just to run, like, super pie, and then super pie, and then super pie. But if you're gonna, you know, want to run something, you know, on the cold, like, say, W prime, you know, I guess that can take a little while, maybe more than most of your phase changes you see out there doing. But, yeah, we are going to be running liquid nitrogen. We should be able to run any test until we run out of liquid nitrogen. So, um, we might play around with some other things here and there, but I kind of doubt it. Uh, you know, if we have issues getting liquid nitrogen, we can start out with some dice, but we're going cold. I want to do things without limits and find the other limits and discover how to get around them with you guys. So, we're about 12 minutes in. Uh, my videos will usually be a little shorter, I guess. Uh, my live streams will be long, will be very long. Uh, once I get into something like, like tinkering, it's, I can, I can fixate on that one particular thing that I'm trying to tune for a good while. So as long as we have some, some cooling behind us, uh, I will tinker for you and we'll figure it out. And, uh, even on that note, if anybody's got anything that they're curious to see what I can do. You sign my waiver and ship it here. And, you know, I'll try not to break it. But we'll see how fast things can go. Or you can even get in touch with me and we can have you come. And we'll put some L2 on your stuff. I got the pots. I got, I got the, I got the, I got the tools. I got the stuff. We can, we can make it happen. So, if anybody wants to come, come do some benching. Come do some bench learning. Let's do it. Let's do it up. But anyway, I, uh, I'm going to go take my kid home. Have a good one.